Boris Johnson has dismissed calls from Labour to open a parliamentary inquiry into the lobbying efforts of former Prime Minister David Cameron. The Prime Minister insisted he has full confidence in the current investigation into the lobbying. I've got every confidence in, uh, in Nigel Baldwin. I think he'll do an outstanding job. He's done a very good job on, uh, on, on PP that I've been, I've been reading. And I think that uh, we, we need to understand exactly what's been going on uh, with this supply chain finance uh, question. The news comes after it was revealed that a top civil servant who served under Mr Cameron works for the firm the former Prime Minister lobbied for. Boris Johnson announced a probe into David Cameron's lobbying after it was revealed that Cameron had texted several key government officials, including the Chancellor Rishi Sunak, asking for millions of pounds in government bailouts for his employer Greensill Capital. Greensill has since collapsed after it failed to receive government subsidies. It has now been revealed that in 2015, when David Cameron was Prime Minister, a senior civil servant named Bill Crothers took a role as an advisor at the finance capital firm. Labour have accused the government of attempting to cover up cronyism after the Prime Minister blocked Parliament from opening their own investigation. David Cameron has insisted he has done nothing wrong, though admitted in a statement his lobbying efforts should have been done through more formal channels. Stephen Edgington, The Sun. We made and a promise that we don't have to break. It's that that 0.7% commitment. It really said something about Britain, saying that we were going to spend that money.